Attention, crypto investors, don't let this happen to you. We're going to dive into something that recently happened with Bittrex. Yep, you've probably heard about it if you're in the crypto space every single day. They filed for bankruptcy protection less than a month after SEC charges. So we're going to dive into this story a little bit first, but then on the back half of the video, I want you to stick around because we're going to dive into some of the ways you could protect yourself so this does not happen to you. And uh, we've been preaching this ever since the FTX situation, but I'm going to give you a little bit more insight to that. And uh, appreciate you guys, as always, for stopping back by the channel. Now, if you didn't hear what happened with Bittrex, let's start there, because they just filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy uh, in Delaware on Monday. This is a month after the SEC charged it with running an unregistered exchange. So the company said it had assets and liabilities, each estimated to be worth $500 million, $1 billion, and more than 100,000 creditors in a court filing, two other entities, Bittrex Malta uh, LTD and Bittrex Malta Holdings LTD, also filed for bankruptcy protection in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court uh, of the District of Delaware. Now, Bittrex did not immediately respond to requests for comment. The bankruptcy filing comes less than a month after Bittrex was sued by the SEC for allegedly operating an unregistered exchange, broker, and clearing agency. Bittrex had previously said it would leave the U.S., blaming the country's regulatory environment. But in reality here, they were not doing what they needed to do to operate in the United States. Bittrex was once one of the largest exchanges in the United States way back when, with a market share of USD support of nearly 23% at the start of 2018, which is pretty remarkable. This is data from into the block. It collapsed to below 1% by 2021, though, and hasn't recovered since. So people did smart up, if you will, and get off of Bittrex, but there are still some people who are left hanging in the balance now. And that's what I want to talk about in this late, later portion of this video. Guys, it's real simple. When you hold your crypto on a centralized exchange, you do not own that crypto. Let me repeat. When you hold your crypto on a centralized exchange, you don't own your crypto. So what I want you to do is it's not financial advice, but look into the possibilities of getting your money off of centralized exchanges. You can use the exchanges for off-ramps and on-ramps for sure. But if you want full custody, full control of your crypto, that's what DeFi is for. That is why we have DeFi. DeFi is critical in helping us own our own assets. If you truly want to own your own assets, you have to get it off centralized exchanges. So Bittrex files for bankruptcy protection. I don't think this is the last centralized exchange to fail. I think this is, you know, short term, not a great thing, obviously, for crypto. Maybe that's part of the reason why we saw the pullback in the market. Long term, this is good for crypto. Let's get the bad companies, the bad actors out of the space so we can propel this technology forward. Let me know what you guys think about all this down below. Appreciate you guys, as always, for stopping back by the channel. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.